everybody, my name is Nisha and I'm the founder and instructor for LaBelle Hair Company. Our mission is to help women regain their inner confidence. Today I got another client story for you. We're going to be speaking on breakage and split ends. This particular client, she embarked on a natural hair journey as well as many, if not all, of my clients. And we were able to fully transition her from having extreme breakage and split ends to now her hair has grown to the point where it is the same exact length, if not a little bit longer from when we started. But the only difference is it's in a healthier state than what it was when she first met me. The main thing that I do want to let you guys know is breakage and split ends can definitely be misidentified or mistaken for one or the other. They kind of look the same to the average person, I would say. When it comes to being a licensed cosmetologist, we have to really divulge and analyze each hair strand on a client's head in order for us to fully come up with the perfect regimen that's going to fit them and their lifestyles. You can experience hair breakage on any area of the head. If you are someone who is experiencing low iron or iron deficiency, if left untreated and you're not taking your supplements, you can very well start to experience breakage in the nape of your head, which is going to be behind your ear and down to your neck. If you are someone who wears ponytails or any type of um, friction causing hairstyle, you can experience breakage in your crown area. That can also be your stress spot. If you are someone who wears wigs and you're using adhesive to glue down the wigs, or if you're someone who's wearing hairstyles that cause tension, to your actual hairline, you can start experiencing breakage within your hairline as well. There are many different type of forms and causes for breakage, but we're really gonna just speak on the main general ones in comparison to what my client actually went through. Just to give you guys a little quick brief background of my client, she doesn't necessarily have a routine or a regimen per se. She was really trying to find a natural hairstylist and what ended up happening was like I explained to you guys in the first video, how all of our appointments go, we always go through a consultation. The consultation is going to give us an idea of who the client is as a person, as well as letting the client know who we are as stylists. With the consultation, we're able to go over the client's hair history, figure out what it is that could have potentially caused the breakage or the hair challenge per se, and what we can actually do to overcome the challenge together. If you are someone that's, ex that's experiencing split ends or breakage, the only way for you to really get rid of them is for you to remove them, okay? There is no cure for split ends. There's no remedy. There's no product out there that's gonna fix it. You have to remove it. A lot of people have this stigma to where they feel as though stylists are scissor happy. In some cases, that may very well be true. But in other cases, if you are someone who doesn't know anything about their hair, then nine times out of 10, you're going to need a big chop. That is the only way, the only way. If you want to take off the damaged hair little by little, that's perfectly fine, you can, but you have to make sure that you are consistent. The only direction that the breakage and the split ends are gonna travel is upward, okay? It's gonna travel up the hair shaft, which is now going to potentially affect the healthy hair strands. That's gonna cause for even more of your hair needing to be removed. Just a quick tip, if you are someone that's experiencing breakage and or split ends, you want to make sure that your hair is moisturized. You want to make sure that you're staying on top of your protein treatments as well. And when I say moisturized and protein treatment, sometimes you may very well need a moisture treatment. And in that case, this is where a natural hairstylist is going to come into play. When it comes to having hair breakage and split ends, honestly, it's really up to the client on where they're actually going to start their actual natural hair care journey. In this particular case, we had to figure out what was comfortable for the actual client and how I was going to advise to them what the precautions were if they weren't going to remove all of the breakage. In the next video, we are gonna be showcasing exactly where she actually trimmed and how we were able to fully transition her from starting with breakage and split ends to ending with having that healthy hair growth.